Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction, and uh, I have a construction dictionary here by these awesome people, uh, Greg and Dominique Nelson. They made this construction dictionary, and I just flipped through it, and I flipped to a random word, which is hurricane straps. So I want to tell you what hurricane straps are, what they are used for, and why they're actually pretty important if you're in the state of Florida. So simply put, hurricane straps are metal uh, pieces of metal that are nailed into the wood or block of your house at places where they connect. So like, let's say where the roof connects to the walls, there's a strap that's put between those. There's a strap that actually connects it. Now, what a lot of people think is those straps are important for not letting the house fall down, but it's actually the opposite. Those straps exist to make the house not fall up. Does that sound a little funny? Well, the reason that's important in the state of Florida is we get a lot of high winds from windstorms like hurricanes, tropical storms, even tornadoes from time to time when there's a big storm passing through. So a thing that can happen is if you think about a roof, right? If I take this book and I set it up like a roof, if wind comes up underneath this, it's basically acting like a big kite. So a roof doesn't have that much weight on itself. The wood is relatively light compared to block or something like that. So if the wind gets up underneath it, like through under the edge of it or something like that, it can actually lift the roof. And so for a lot of years, <clears throat> this was a big problem of roofs literally being pulled off of the house. And then the rain comes into the house and just freaking destroys everything. So the building codes changed in around the 1990s, I believe, to actually require these metal straps to be added at any connection point so that the house can't get lifted off of the foundation. Because for a lot of time, people were like, oh, make house, make it not fall down. Because that's the simplicity of building a house, right? It's like you build it so that it won't fall down and it'll be safe. So they were just concerned with how do we get the load safely down to the ground. Now, with the advent of more statistical technology and stuff like that, and us actually seeing what causes more damage to homes, the bigger threat, as long as you know the basics are followed when building the house, the bigger threat becomes, what about when the roof or the whole house gets picked up? It's very dangerous. And also that roof obviously flies and damages other houses as well. In fact, the number one cause of damage in a hurricane is windborne debris. Didn't know if you knew that. So in order to prevent that, now they do hurricane straps. So in a simple explanation, that's what they are. They prevent the house from being picked up by high winds, lofted off to somewhere else and destroying somebody else's home. Pretty simple concept. Most people think that they're for the opposite for holding it uh, from falling down. It's actually holding it from falling up. So I appreciate your attention. If you got some value out of this, please hit the subscribe button. And if you need help designing a renovation of your own, maybe you want something with some hurricane straps in it, go to homelove.construction slash design, where we design custom homes, room additions, kitchens, and bathrooms. I'd be happy for our design team to take a look at your project and help you with it. Again, that's homelove.construction slash design. Thank you for watching. See you in the next vid. Peace.